Hi guys, I have got um, this bag here. So on my local um, no sale page for my community, um, a lady was giving away this bag of baby clothes and they were about the size for Sean. I know I'm not going to keep everything, so I'm just going to um, show you guys what I got. And kind of when I'm placing it, I'm going to place two piles. One pile I'm going to pass on. And the other pile is what I would keep for Sean. Um, the ones that I'm passing on, what I'm going to do is we do have a local, it's not in my community. So the neighborhood that I'm lived in, that I live in, not lived in, I mean, I've lived in the same neighborhood essentially since we moved here. But the neighborhood I live in, um, that's where this came from. It was only for people that live in this neighborhood where what I'm going to do is what I'm not going to keep, I will take over to our local um, foster um, place. They had, we have a local um, foster, it's not like a, it's not a foster home, but it's like a house so that if they have to do an emergency removal, like in the middle of the night, they can take these kids to this, this house and they have a place for them to sleep as well as foster parents can go there and they have like just a room all the clothes and essentially foster parents can shop um, and pick up items that they need for placements that they have um, they have clothes they have like bottles wipes formula diapers um, toys lots of different things for um, the kids in the local foster care system so i'll be passing what i do not keep on the lady just posted a few things and then said, um, as I'm finding things, I'm putting more and more in the bag. So when I went and picked them up, she had gone through the closet. So I don't even know what all is in here. Um, so let's start out. First of all, this was honestly what caught my eye and I will be keeping for Sean. I might wash it and put on it. It says it's Carter's three months, but it looks really big. So it should hopefully fit him. First off is this cute little vest, the top. Is like a brown and the bottom is navy blue and then to go with it is this super cute button-down shirt that is um, plaid and it is in navy blue and brown and khaki and then some little jogger style khaki pants that have a tie at the waistband so if this doesn't fit Sean this should fit um, my real cares. So this was this was one of the things she did post that kind of caught my eye, essentially. And before anybody comes on here and says, well, why didn't you leave it for anybody else? It had been listed on the local um, free page for almost three weeks before I contacted her. I was going to get, I gave people plenty of time to pick it up and like i said the things that i'm not going to keep in this bag will be passed on to our foster con or the local foster um foster families closet essentially um this is size six to nine months it doesn't have a brand but it's some really cute joggers they're black joggers with this red stripe so I don't know if there is a set that goes with this, but those are cute. So like I said, I didn't know this was like a smaller size. This I will either be keeping for my real cares or Sean if it doesn't fit him. But like these, I'm not real interested in. But these, honestly, like for people with babies, oh my God, sweatpants are the best, especially since it's so cold right now here. Like I know I live in Texas, but... Cold for us is relative compared to other places like North Dakota. I know that. But it has been like our highs have been like 51 um, the last couple weeks. So it has been cold here for a while. Oh, this is cute. Um, we've got a, what size is it? It is Granimals, six to nine months. And it is a gray sweatshirt that says Team Daddy MVP. And that is in navy blue, or navy, not navy blue. But yeah, so it's been really cold. So things like this, um, that are especially, honestly, like sweatsuits, I know they've actually been asking for like sweatpants and like sweatshirts for babies recently because 
being from Texas, a lot of people just buy like onesies because especially in the summer, all your baby wears is a onesie. Um, but now that it's fading cold, they've been begging for like warmer clothes for little ones. These are granimals, three or six to nine months, three to six months. And they're just some gray pants. These might actually go with the daddy shirt. So a lot of this, like I said, right now, my to be donated pile is bigger than the keep pile. And we've got some, I'm assuming these were pajama pants. These are granimals, three to six months. They're cute little pants again. And these ones have beep beep and they're more um, construction cars. Oh, this is cute. This is Granimal six to nine months. And it is like little dogs in space t-shirt. There's some aliens, some planets, blast off, some dogs that are astronauts. That's cute. So as of right now, maybe I'm going to start a third maybe pile. So that one might be saved for Sean because that would be Sean size. And this is Gerber six to nine months. And it's just a gray dark gray and light gray striped um onesie honestly i might put that in the maybe pile and we've got another gerber six to nine months and this one says who's a good boy and it's got some puppies on it super cute And then we've got a third one that says, really cute. That's cute. And this is also, oh, this is Carter's six to nine months. And it's got an embroidered whale on it. We've got a just one U, three months. And this is navy blue and gray striped. And then we've got a uh, Gerber, this one's zero to three months. And this one has um, another like space motif. It's got some stars, some rockets and some planets on it. And we've got another onesie. This is Carter's three months. And this one is navy blue with a gray stripe again, but these are thicker stripes. And we've got some Granimals three to six month pants. And these are just like a dark green. I don't know if you can see that. It's almost like a dark green or gray color. Um, holding it up to gray, it looks more green. The light in this room is horrible. I need to change the light bulb. I, I already know that. And I'm doing this at night, so it's dark out. Um, we've got another pair of Granimals three to six months. So these ones are gray. So those might, yes, those are green. Looking at these compared to those, those are green. These are gray. And, oh, these are cute. These are Cat and Jack. Three to six months, but they are a big three to six months. Some little um, jeans with like a jogger um, at the ankle. And we've got pockets. Guys, I wonder if they're in here. These have suspenders because you can see the button here and then the two little buttons in front. So there should be suspenders, hopefully. Hopefully. If not, maybe we can find some suspenders to go with that. But those are cute. These are staying. These are adorable. Um, we've got Child of Mine, three to six months. Some really warm. Uh, these are definitely, regardless if I wanted to keep them or not, these are definitely going. Um, these are fleece pants with little bears on them. Those are adorable. But like I said, they're they're really desperate right now for like winter clothes, especially warm winter clothes. I wonder if this goes. Cat and Jack, and this is what goes with those pants. It is a cute little like Christmassy plaid button down flannel shirt and it's in a onesie so it does I know it goes with these I've seen this I actually was gonna buy this for Sean um but by the time I got there and it had gone on sale they did not have a size like I said this is three to six months Cat and Jack 
kind of runs small, so I don't know if it'll fit him because he's more of a six to nine month close, but I will definitely be holding on to this because I do in the future want to get a few smaller reborns than Sean. Oh, this is cute, but this will probably be donated to. This is H and B three to six months, and it is a warm, fuzzy snowsuit. It's got cute little bear ears. It's black. And, oh, it's got little mitts on it, too. But this is definitely one that is car seat safe and would definitely be something cozy for a little one. So this one is, is as adorable as this is. Like I said, those other pants, too. As much as I want to keep that, they're going to um, be donated. And this is another snowsuit. This one's a cohort, six months. And this one is a maroon one. There's no mitts on it. It is a zip front and then um, just ankle. So this is more of like a snowsuit again. We've got some cute little booties, some gray little booties. There's both of them are right here. I'm trying to see if there's a brand or size in either of them. So once again, these would be too big. These are Carter's three to six months. So they, actually these would fit Sean, but they will also be donated. They're super, super cute. They look cute with that snowsuit. Um, we got another onesie. This one is Gerber, six to nine months, and it's a gray, another gray striped onesie. Um, we've got Child of Mine, it's three to six months, Daddy's Little Buddy, and it's got a cute puppy on it. And I know some people have said, oh, you don't. I, I've heard people in the past, like the mommy, daddy stuff getting donated to, um, like, foster families. Um, sometimes, or especially like the one that I'm going to be donating to, they really encourage foster adopt um when foster is not able or adopt re familification i think is how it is is not a possibility so and i do know a lot of foster homes that refer to dad or to the male figure as dad and the female figure as mom um so in a lot of cases too even like onesies like this Oh, wait, this is just a striped one. Like that other one, what they probably do is just put a sweater over it and just use that as like an undershirt type onesie. Um, here is a sleep set. It says dozing off, and it's really, it is Wonder Nation. It is 12 months, and it's got a digger on it, and it's got this yellow, um, like construction yellow and gray. And then it's got the pajamas to match. I've got construction trucks on them. Oh, these are cute. I wish they would be Sean size. They're Wonder Nation size too, but they will probably be too big for him. He's actually got tiny feet. It's just the one foot is weirdly flexed, but those are adorable, adorable shoes. Um, we've got Granimals, six to nine month um, short. And they're just like a little, almost retro with the white stripe and they're navy blue. Um, we've got another one of them in navy blue. And then we've also got these Granimals, 12 month black shorts. Now these ones I'll probably be keeping they're just a basic black short. They, these will definitely fit Sean. Those that know me, first of all, black, just all black and baby clothes are hard to find. Um, but I have so many onesies for him and black will match a lot of that. Uh, as well as up here, some, I think they're, these are like a charcoal black too. I like the darker colors. I've got to wash the stuff to make sure I'm pretty, these came from a real baby. So I know they've been washed, but just to make sure for dye transfer. Then we've got a larger, this is a 12 month granimal camel shirt. 
although this looks a little bit bigger than 12 months but i do like like more of the emo oh guys the suspenders oh, oh i never thought i'd be so excited for this okay oh this is this, this is great i like i said when target had this set at christmas last year i I don't know if it if it was bought this year. Let's see. Um, the tags have a year on it. But anyways, Target had this last year, 2022. So this is from last year. Um Target had this, or not 2022. Target had this item last year, and I believe if you see like a Target video of mine, it might have been in it at some point, but I remember Target having this outfit. I remember picking it up, and it was like almost $30, and I'm like, ugh. As much as I love this outfit, I could not bring myself to paying that. I just, I, I could not bring myself to paying that. Here's the little suspenders. I'm so excited. Um, but I could not bring myself to paying it. And so, um, I, I, I passed on it. I was waiting for it to go on clearance and it never did. Well, it did, but they didn't have any sizes left. They was like three to six months or like 12 months, which were too big for him. And lastly in this bag is a Wonder Nation, another snowsuit. This is a super cozy snowsuit, but this one will not be car seat friendly. This is more like pram friendly. So it's got these cute little bun or bear ears and it's this gray color with like gray plaid on it. And this, it does have fold over for sleeves and it does have fold over for pants. This one I will keep. The other two I will let go. Um, cohort one, I'm not 100% on yet. This one, as much as I like the black, I will definitely, because this one is car seat safe. This one, the reason why I won't is because it is not car seat safe. And I don't want to encourage a foster family to get a baby and then um, put it in because this is quite puffy and thick. Um, so if people are wondering like the difference between car seat safe, so this is double layered. It is a thicker fabric where this is a single layer and it's not it's thick at all it's pretty thin but it's sherpa so it is warm and when you put it in the car seat it doesn't compress it won't compress because it's just a single layer like a single layer um my kids when they were babies we lived in north dakota my kids as babies had um had single layer fleece Columbia um, snow suits. Honestly, we put snow covers or the shower cap covers over their car seats. So a lot of times they didn't even wear anything like this because they would get, they would get too hot. What we would do is you brought their infant car seat into the house. You had that snow cap cover on. You might have a blanket over them to keep them warmer, except for, especially when it's like 30 below. Um, and then a hat. And when you got in the car, typically the car up north, they have auto starters to warm cars up. We had one. So by the time we got to the car, the car was pretty much warmed up inside. I literally would unzip the car seat. I, I always had a um, shower cap cover that unzipped or opened up somehow and I'd open it up. And sometimes I'd pull back the blanket or not. But typically in the winter, my kids stayed in pajamas, fleece pajamas. Um, with a onesie underneath. If they had an outfit, it was typically um, like Carter's has those outfits where it might be a fleece vest with a fleece um, bottom or just like sweatpants and a sweatshirt. So my kids honestly did not wear a lot, but I know like up or not up down here, I've seen it a lot where families will walk into like Walmart and 
baby, like we're talking about fleece like these, um, where baby is covered in, or is in like a super thick snowsuit. See, I will put this on Sean and he's in the bassinet right now. And I would put that on the stroller and take him for a walk in this in something cold. That would be perfectly fine for this, but in a car seat, this is not safe because it's too, it compresses. Like I can squish it down. And a lot of times like you can tighten the straps, but if you have a baby guys and you're questioning if the snowsuit should be safe or not, put the baby in the snowsuit or just put like what you normally would, um, like a onesie and some fleece pants on baby, put them in the snowsuit, put the car seat or the, the baby in the car seat and tighten the straps like you normally would. Now, do not untighten the straps, take the baby out of the car seat, and then put the baby back in without the snowsuit on. And you will see, like, there was a big puffy snowsuit that my son did have. We did have a thick one like this because there was a few times that we took him outside as a baby to play in the snow. Um, because he was six months at the point. Winter hit and it wasn't, it was kind of a mild winter, his first winter. So, um, we had like a little baby sled that it, it had like a back on it and he could sit up already and hold his head. So you would just sit him in there and you'd buckle it and we'd just pull him around for five, 10 minutes outside and he would laugh and giggle, but he was in a thick one like this to stay warm while outside doing that. But I have a picture of him where I put him in the car seat, got it as tight as I could, took him and the, the snowsuit off or took him out of the car seat, took the snowsuit off and put him back in. And there was like, like you could pull up almost a good two to three inches of slack in the car seat harness because a, a, it like something like this was just way too puffy. So that's why as much as I would love to pass this one on because it's super cute. It's just, I can see somebody using it in a car seat down here right now. So I will keep this one and, you know, maybe start taking Sean for some walks. And even at that, this one is kind of gender neutral. So um, I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you all later. Bye.